Hey you guys, this is Kai with Kicking Through the Chaos Mom of Seven. Want to see how I made this whole keto meal? Go ahead and visit my channel. I had candied butternut squash, baked cauliflower and cheese. And for my family, I did it over rice, but you can do it over cauliflower rice. So here on the menu tonight, we have keto smothered turkey. However, even if you're not following keto, it is this, it's, you cannot tell the difference. However, if you want, the one thing you would sub is the flour that you use for the gravy. So let's get started. So I've already cleaned and prepped my turkey wings. I am going to cut them. If yours is already cut, you could just move along past this part. Here you want to cut them at the joint. You'll need a sharp knife. All right, so right here I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on here because when I add my seasoning, I like it to really stick and I like to be able to really rub it in on the turkey. So I'm not going to tell you how much seasoning to put in. Um, this is kind of a big batch here because I was making it for my family. However, I'll just let you know some of the seasonings that I use, which was um, some garlic. I use crushed garlic. I also use uh, garlic powder and an onion powder blend, smoked paprika. I used the Cajun seasoning, an all-purpose seasoning, um, poetry seasoning, and um, if you don't have poetry seasoning, just use some type of chicken seasoning or all-purpose seasoning. Also, some Herb de Provence or Italian seasoning if you don't have that. Parsley, seasoning salts, or salt and pepper to taste. And you guys, that was in no particular order. So you guys, when it comes down to seasoning your food, listen, you just want to season everything until it's nicely coated. Um, you can use pretty much whatever you feel comfortable with. The only time you want to be careful is any seasoning that has salt. So stuff like onion powder, garlic powder, knock yourself out. Um, just be careful with your seasonings that have salt added in it. Of course, anything that adds heat and spice, be careful with that as well. So now that we got that all seasoned, we're going to go ahead and put that to the side and we are going to prep our vegetables. I use celery, green peppers, yellow peppers. If I had a red pepper, I would have used that too, which I do think in the end I wind up adding red peppers. You're going to cut all of this up. Okay, you guys, so we got all that prep, and now we're going to put that to the side, and we are going to get our wings in a pan. But before you do that, you do want to pre your, heat your oven to about 400 degrees. Neatly arrange your wings into your pan. Do not overcrowd it. So after you get them all in the pan, you're going to add the vegetables that you cut up. A quarter cup of water and then I'm gonna put this in the oven covered uh, at about 400 degrees for about an hour to an hour and a half and then the remaining hour or so you are going to cook it uncovered so right here I'm gonna cut another medium maybe a small to medium onion in about half moon shape and then we're going to start sauteing this on a low heat with butter until the onions are transparent. So right now I got about a half a stick of butter melting down. So once your butter melts and starts bubbling, we want to put the onions in. We're going to cook it down on a low heat until the onions are soft and transparent in color. Okay, so this is about what you want it to look like, and now we're going to start the gravy. Okay, you guys, so I did, I don't know if I was videoing or not, but I did use some keto flour, 
a flour that I have. I added about two to three tablespoons. This is a brand on the market. I haven't used this one for gravy, but there we go. All right, and then I added some of the liquid, the fat from the turkey. To clarify, add... I added the turkey drippings, which is the juice and some of the flavor at the bottom of the pan. I was able to get those turkey drippings after about an hour to an hour and a half of cook time. At this point, I'm going to start to add so the cool chicken on. stock. Stir that up. Keep stirring till that gets thick. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up. I don't know. I would say this gravy took all about seven, eight minutes maybe. Keep adding your stock until you are at the consistency that you want. I sort of preferred a little thicker gravy, so I stopped at this point. All right, it's always important to taste your gravy. So, this is it. It's pretty thick. That's keto gravy, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. And those aren't lumps, those are the onions. Remember, we made we put onions because we're doing smothered turkey. All right, let me just taste. All right, as usual, we tend to need some salt. Just add a little bit of salt to that gravy. Hit it with some black pepper. Some parsley. I'm gonna do a little bit of Onion and garlic. Poultry season. And some herb de Provence. There we go. Let's get that going. And we're done. Yep, that's perfect. That's perfect. Maybe a dash more. So if you seasoned your meat well, you don't even need this to be too, because everything is going to kind of mesh. So I'm going to get ready to get my wings out. All right, you guys, this is it. That's what you're looking for. Again, that's the onion gravy going on top. These will also fall off the bone. So in total, I cooked this anywhere from two and a half to three hours. You guys, I like my turkey wings to fall off the bone. So if it's not falling off the bone, I'm not really interested. Um, but cook it how you want it. Also, um, you can put this back in the oven at this point for about another five or ten minutes. Or you could just eat it as is. It's totally up to you. And here you go. Smothered turkey wings, keto style. My family had it over white rice, but you can do it with cauliflower rice. Or if you want to try the recipes in this plate below, check out my other recipes for butternut candied squash and baked cauliflower and cheese. So you guys, if you're enjoying this channel so far, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. It'll let you know when the next video drops. Also, don't forget to comment down below to let me know what you want me to make next. Thanks again for visiting and hope to see you back soon.